The beginning of Parshas Bahaloscha, the Torah discusses the mitzvah of lighting the menorah, which is given exclusively to Aaron. Why was Aaron Akharin given the mitzvah of lighting the menorah? Rashi explains, Lefisha, Kishara Aaron, Chanukah Sanasim, when Aaron saw the Nasim were giving all their gifts by the Chanukah Samishkan, Cholsha, Az Daiso, he felt bad. Shlohai Imahem, the Chanukah. Lohu, the Lo Shifto. Amalo Akharish Baruchu, that since he was so sad that he couldn't be part of the gifts of the Nesim by the Chanukah Zemishkan, Chayecho shel chagadol ha-melech mishalahem. That what I'm giving you is greater than what everybody else is getting. Sha'at ha-mad l'kumetiv es ha That the mitzvah that you get is the Nerus. And what is it that makes the mitzvah of the Menorah so much greater than the mitzvah of the Chanukah Sabayis that the Nesim got to partake in? So there's a lot of different pshatim. I just want to say one small pshat as said by Rav Yaakov Galinsky. Rav Yaakov Galinsky explains that the mitzvah of the menorah was so special because it was done in private. The menorah was not something, at least in the Mishkan, that was seen publicly. It was only in the Mishkan. And this mitzvah was more elevated. It's a higher status than the mitzvah that the Nesim got. Why? Because any mitzvah that's done in public gets its share of reward in this world. Because a mitzvah that's done in public inspires kavod, it inspires respect, it inspires admiration. And ki'ilu, you're getting a payback for the mitzvah already in this world. It changes your stature, it changes who you are. It gives you self-confidence. The more people are impressed by you, the more people look at you positively, the more respect that you get from other people, the more it makes you feel about yourself. But a mitzvah that's done in private, the mitzvah of Aaron, the mitzvah of lighting that menorah, of sparking that flame, was between him and Kaddish Baruch Hu. Nobody else got to see that mitzvah. Nobody else got to partake in that mitzvah. And we know that when it's closed and it's quiet and it's private, and it's just you and a Kaddish Baruch Hu, and you're free from any other thoughts and any other distractions, that's when you can really have your strongest elements of growth, your highest points of relating to a Kaddish Baruch Hu. And those are the opportunities that one can take advantage of to really bring themselves closer to Hashem. This mitzvah was so special to Aaron, because this mitzvah of lighting the menorah was only between Aaron and a Kaddish Baruch Hu. No kavod, no glory, no wealth, no fame. It was a connection, nobody's looking, just Aaron Akoin and Akadosh Baruch Hu alone in a constant of, of a relationship. Have a good Shabbos.